What's up guys, I'm Jared from CyberSavingCouple.net and this is a 9 inch benchtop bandsaw by Hub Freight. Uh, what makes it 9 inch is that you have 9 inches of clearance between the blade and this throat right here. So that means you can cut a maximum uh, width of 9 inch stock going through this location right here. The motor on this saw is one third horsepower and it's 2.5 amps. Uh, the blades that you have to buy for this are um, 64 inch uh, blades and you can get from one eighth of an inch to a uh, half of an inch uh, wide. So pretty versatile for a, uh, a bench top saw. Uh, you can cut uh, stock up to two and three eighths. Uh, inch thick on this just by adjusting this uh, blade guide right here you know, about that thick right there and I um, personally I, I've cut um, I've cut stock that thick on here before uh, I've made um, bandsaw boxes before on here and out of oak and I've had no issue uh, tracing uh, my reference lines or cutting through that that thickness. You're just going to take your time Give the blades time to work uh, Changing the blades on this bandsaw is pretty easy. It's just like any other bandsaw Go ahead and open up the doors And it exposes the two uh, spindles or wheels whatever you want to call them. This knob right here uh, This is the knob that they adjust the blade tension so you loosen this knob up and then you can go ahead and you can take the blade off put a new blade on oh, this, this can go over too as well Let's see. Yeah. put a new blade on and then tense it back up you want you want not too much tension but you want a decent amount of tension so you don't get uh, too much blade deflection if it's too loose, the blade is going to be wandering all over the place on you and it's not going to stay uh, centered on on the wheels. And it possibly will pop off when you're doing a cut. You don't want that. Uh, it's also dangerous. Uh, most of the, the parts of the... Geez, I can't even get that back on. Most of the parts of... What the hell? Kidding me? There we go. Most of the parts of the Harbor Freight um, bandsaw are plastic, but that's that's what you're gonna get with a cheaper type tool. As long as you're not doing um, cuts on it every day, I think this bandsaw will last you, and it does a a great job for um, most things that I need it for. Uh, it has a good sized table. Let's see what the table width is. Yeah, about just under a foot width. And about, yeah, so it's about a foot square table. Also has a miter slot right here, so you can you can put a miter gauge on it and, and use that to help you make cuts. In fact, it came with one, but I don't. I rarely use this because the types of cuts I do is mostly um, not straight cuts. Mostly like curved uh, curvature type cuts. So I don't use the miter gauge too often, but it it does have a pretty decent fit in there. As you can see, it's not much slop, which is what um, which is a good thing because a lot of slop on a miter a lot of slot. It makes the wider gauge pretty much useless, and uh, it has uh, a good amount of graduations on the wider gauge too. It goes from 30 degrees on either end. This is the back of the bandsaw. Um, right here is this actually lifts the uh, the wheel up and down for um, changing out the blade, and this this increases the tension. Uh, like I was mentioning earlier about having too much or too little tension. Uh, 
this wheel right here is the blade tracking wheel. So this this will um, adjust the that top wheel slightly left or right, so you can make sure that your your blade is uh, centered on that that wheel perfectly. Um, this is the guide lock. So this is what locks this blade guide in place after you've adjusted it because you want this just to be right above the height of your workpiece. You set that and then that's how you lock it. Uh, down here is a, a dust collection port for um, a shop vac or a, a dust collector. And the table also has a tilt function which um, is right here. Uh, so you can go from 0 degrees flat to 45 degrees. This is not really something I ever use. Uh, had this had this bandsaw for about two years now, and I, I honestly I've never used the, the tilt function. It's just uh, it's actually pretty sloppy. I, I look at that. It, honestly, I, I probably that makes me not want to ever use it. So uh, personally, I think you're probably better off keeping the table uh, set at zero degrees and you know using it just there if, if you want to make any any angled cuts you know, hopefully you have a table saw that you can do those on so there's the motor back here as you can see I've uh, I have gotten quite a bit of use on this band saw it has served me very well over the past two years I really don't have any complaints the um, the blades that Harbor Freight sells uh, have worked for me. If you wanted, you could go out and you could purchase um, probably a higher quality blade um, from somewhere else. But the blades that I've I bought from Harbor Freight, they've uh, they've worked for me uh, without any issues. Um, overall, I would say that the um, this nine inch Harbor Freight bench top bandsaw is well worth the money. I think it's about $140 right now on Harbor Freight's website or in store. Uh, definitely worth the money. If I was to rate this, I'll give about uh, 4 out of 5 stars.